We're in Australia. Welcome to my Australia vlog. I've been in Australia for a week now and currently in Byron Bay. I've been in Sydney and I just thought, you know, let's just take you along. Look at this cute jumper. Isn't this just so Aussie? I am Aussie. We're doing the whole like hostel life. We're doing the buses. And it's actually been so good because I feel like you meet so many people when you're traveling. Anyways. We're going surfing now. We're gonna have a surfing lesson. I've had one surfing lesson before and then I've also been on like a surfing stim simulator. I think that's the word. I'll be able to stand up on the board, but hopefully we'll, we'll catch some waves, ride some waves. Another update, I am a flat white girl now. So in the morning when it's a little bit chillier, lovely little flat white does the trick that I shall see you after surfing. Hi, um, surfing was so good. Guys, I did so much better than Bali. I think, cause I've only ever had one lesson and that was in Bali, Uluwatu. And when I told the instructor today, they were like, that's actually like for pros, like you shouldn't be surfing in Uluwatu. And then doing it today, like on a lovely beach with like good instructors. Ooh. I was so good. Like every time I was just riding the wave, literally every time. And the swimming back was so much easier than in Bali. Like, I think I'm stronger or something. I don't know. Oh, and then I started catching my own wave. So normally, like, they hold your board and then they, like, give you a little push off. Because then you don't have to think about which wave am I catching. But I started noticing which waves to catch and then and then did it, which was quite fun. And then after that, came back here and I needed food straight away. So I went and I got a Poke Bowl. And it was so weird because I was going to go to one cafe. And then I was like, you know when, like, a thought just pops into your head? And I was like, I want to go to Finn Pokey. So I went to Finn Pokey. And then like all my friends that I've kind of met the last couple of days were there. And I was like, hi. So I was going for some alone time. And then I ended up like meeting a load of friends. And then we went and we had lunch. And then we went to the beach and we had a beach day. I am quite burnt. I've got like these smile line burns, which I think are from surfing because I was like this. And then my nose is quite red. And then, oh, <laughs> me and my friend who I've met here, we were like, oh, let's go gym after the beach day. And then I was like, look, I'm so hungry. I need something before I go gym. And then we sat there after and we were like, wait, we don't have time for gym anymore. And we're too full. So there was just no gym. <laughs> so I've just showered. It's really cute this evening. We're going to have like a group sunset um, picnic. So I'm going to get changed now, go to the shops, get some like carrots, hummus, crisps. And then we're going to watch sunset. And then I've got to get in bed early tonight because tomorrow we have my second run club. So I basically held my first run club in Bondi Beach. I wasn't planning to, it was completely spontaneous. I never thought, like, you know, I've been to run clubs and I thought I'm never gonna hold, like, host one. And then while I was in Bondi, I was like, I wanna meet a load of people, how do I do it? And then I was like, wait, what if I just did a group run? And then it turned out to literally be, it was such a good experience. And I was like, that was my first run club and I'm gonna continue doing it. So I've got my second one tomorrow, Byron Bay Run Club, 5.30 a.m. lighthouse run, so. I shall see you then. Good morning. Okay, so this morning we had our run club and I've just gone back to get a jumper. We did a sunrise run and it was so gorgeous. And now we're all gonna get like acai bowls and coffees and I'll show you guys. Hi. Look at us, we've got such a big table. I just told them that we went on a sunrise run. <laughs> Can I say hi? Hey. Isn't it crazy that you were just saying that you watched the YouTube yeah, video? Yeah, so good. Oh, You're gonna watch too. yourself now. Oh my God. How, do you, how do you feel about that? Did you enjoy the run? Amazing, so good. What was your favorite part? Definitely sunrise. Yeah. Definitely oh, <laughs> the photographer. Oh God, that was like a weird, oh. I picked the wrong person to take our photo. Yeah. Yeah. He took photos of it. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Look how cute these bracelets are. So the beaded one was from a girl who came today and then the, what is that, friendship bracelet one was at the last run club. It's like I'm collecting one from each place, it's so cute. Some people have got their food, I'm still waiting on my acai bowl. <laughs> So we've had breakfast. I now want to get everyone doing handstands because I think that'll be so fun. And some girls asked for some tips. So we're literally just going to do them here. Everyone is walking over. Did you have fun? Yeah. yeah. So, fun. so let's do some handstands. Okay. The way that you hold a handstand is by having your fingers bent and by by pushing. So you're almost imagining like pushing against like you're pushing away and the weight is the floor. I've got you like a full. Oh wow! 
So, had a really cute beach day, just chilled out with friends. I recorded the podcast earlier, actually. And then I'm going out to dinner with my friends. This is my outfit. Honestly, in Australia, you can just wear whatever you want. And the fact that I can just wear a hoodie. I'm wearing a cute little skirt underneath and like, cute little top. Your flip flops. It's one of the guys last nights, so gonna go for a little dinner at Bang Bang's, like an Asian place. I just had therapy, so I'm feeling good. Feeling on top of the world. Anyways. Whoa, when I woke up, I was so tired. Like I passed out straight away, had the longest sleep. Maybe like eight, nine hours. You know when you just feel like you've been hit by a ton of bricks? And I think sometimes you forget how like, go, go, go you are. Don't get me wrong. Every day has been so fun. I woke up today and I was like, oh my God, I am so tired. Basically, so I've been doing my run clubs and I'm not going to the Gold Coast. We're missing it completely. But so many followers were there and they were like, come to the Gold Coast. I was like, okay, I'll make a day trip from here, go there and back in the day. It's like an hour and a bit drive. So I'd have to get like a taxi or something, but I didn't really care about that. And I was supposed to do it tomorrow. And I'm just being so realistic with myself. Cause on the weekend I have a calisthenic event and a run club. So that means I would have done if I do Gold Coast tomorrow, that would be four events in a week, which I have never done in my life. And the fact that I'm this tired now to do three in the next four days, I think would actually potentially break me to go and tell people that guys, I can't do it. But you know, and you just have to listen to yourself sometimes. Also, I'm gonna come back to Australia, bro. I could live here. I could be here for like six months a year, so. I am coming back. Today is a tour day. We're gonna go see a little waterfall spot, which is quite exciting. This is my cute spot. It's called the Behind the Bay Tour. I'm rather excited. <laughs> so apparently there's diluted tea tree oil in there and I've just taken a lovely swim, full body, lots of swimming. Hopefully I will be all healed. There's Ben chicken. Yeah and then there's bush turkeys as well. We are now going on a 10 minute walk to another spot. Hello. So this morning I actually woke up in a really funky mood and realised I actually had no routine lately and so I went to the coffee shop, I did a few bits on my to-do list and then I went to the gym and I got a coffee after. I drank my green so I feel a lot better. Now we're at this really cute shop. It's called Trinkets. And you basically like, you can buy your beads and then you can make it. So I've got my beads in there. Look how cute it is. So I've like lined it up and I've got all my little ones and I've got like a little Byron Bay one. It's gonna match my whole thing because these two were made by like some followers, which was really cute. You see these like round balls, like this one and that one. That's a rose, that's one of them's like a moon quartz i think and then the other one is like an amethyst so you pay like a little extra to have crystals but i want crystals on me so it's so cute i've done my bracelet and i'm gonna tie it Fiji. I did my bracelet. Also, um, Look at that. This is my jam. It's a second hand store. Thank you. I got sushi. Hello. Went to the beach. It was really fun. Hanging out with people. As you do. Tonight is our last night in Byron Bay. So we're going to have a big night out. Well, I'm going to have a big night out. We're going to go to Piano Bar. Apparently, Catalina Salsa night. Right? Yeah, really getting on. Good morning, guys. It was a little bit of a late one last night rather fun boogieing all night it's repacking day i'm gonna try pack really quickly it's 8 25 and then i want to be outside before the bus because our bus is at 11. Um, yeah, bus. hello so we're in brisbane now very cute well we literally just had yesterday evening <laughs> but today we've got an anaracha fitness x well, calisthenic event, which is really exciting. We put it on the broadcast channel of like my Aussie friends. I was like, anyone in Brisbane, grab a ticket. And I think there's about 30 people, which is really exciting. I never normally wear red. I've decided to go a little bit rogue. How cute. The bag, really cute. It was actually, when I did the London Marathon gym shop, did it for me. Anyways, I don't really know what I'm doing my hair for the event, but I'm gonna decide that later. 
my makeup. It's cool three beans, by the way. And I got my coffee. Wow. We are here. Lex, this is the handstand space. And we got all of this. We got dip stuff, which I'm not very good at dip, so maybe this is my time to get good at dips. Palettes, we got lots of rings. So we're half an hour before everyone's gonna be here, which is very exciting. Just putting a little bit of bronzer on, you know, I'll make myself glow. <laughs> Bring those elbows in, and then you wanna lean forward, and then lift those feet up. Amazing! <laughs> right. <laughs> it didn't feel right, but I'll take it. <laughs> Everyone did so much, like we hit so many PRs, like it was just amazing. Oh. <laughs> a lot of people are gonna be coming to the run club on Monday, so that'll be very exciting. 5 a.m. Yes! Over and out. I never do that. First event abroad. More to come. We have got our first cheeky pokey, which has been highly recommended here. And it looks so good. It was kind of premium. Yeah, bougie pokey. Oh, watch me chopstick. So we're in Anita's, which is like a very recommended gelato place, which I'm very excited for. Oh my god, this looks so good. I got Cookie Man and peanut butter and chocolate. I was so scared. Alex was out. I was just mooching around naked pre-shower. And I was just standing butt crack naked, just mooching around here. And I've just closed the blind. I kid you not, about three meters away and there was just this wide window and just like three guys sitting and they were all just looking and I just looked up and I dropped to the floor and then I put a hoodie on. <gasps> no, it's not. It's a girl with the fact that it wasn't one second, I was standing there for five minutes on my phone. <laughs> just stood there. I wonder what I was doing. They probably thought that you were giving them a show. Oh my God, no, it was so bad. Like I was just like, I was just full on. I think I was just like this. Like, like, <gasps> it's the closest as well. It's not a far away view. Vagina as well. It's just so a, private. It's just a vagina. Good morning. That sounded like you know, say good morning at school. I woke up today and I was quite tired. And I kind of realized like, especially when you're traveling and it could just be even life. Like let's say you work a lot or you study a lot. Sometimes you can get tired even when you're not training. Like I think sometimes rest days are like, oh, if you've done a lot of workouts, then you need a rest day. And it's like, I've done literally like two runs this week in two gyms, like so much less than I normally do. And I woke up today and I just, you know, and you feel heavy in your bed. And then my mom texted me and she was like, are you resting? And I was like, well, I feel really tired. And I can't actually remember the last time I had like a super, super chill day not doing too much, even if it's not like training and stuff. And so I've just given myself like a really nice chill rest day. But yeah, like I got coffee and I sat down and I edited a few things on my phone at a coffee shop. And now I'm walking through the botanical gardens in Brisbane. It's really pretty, like the river's literally there. But I'm just walking in the sun. Apparently it's UV 10 or like 11, which is crazy. I've got my SPF on. I'm gonna go to, there's something called like a street beach and it's like by South Bank. And it's actually like a pool, like a man-made beach in the city. I am just a beach girl and I wanna sit in a bikini. So I'm gonna walk there, put my bikini on, just sit by the pool, relax. I definitely realized I'm definitely more of a beach girl. I feel like, I think traveling as well, like I just feel calmer when like I'm in a smaller place and there's like a beach and that's kind of like your main thing. And then your day revolves around that. Like Byron was so my vibe. Not to say Brisbane isn't my vibe. It's just not as much. Like, and that was the same with Sydney. Like I just like it when I'm in the, by the beach. And I feel like cities sometimes can be quite overwhelming because there's so many things to do. Things are spread out, you don't know what to do first, you don't know what your priorities are. And to be fair, we haven't been here for that many days, but we are going tomorrow. I am actually really, really looking forward to Nisa. Oh, I'll be honest guys, I'm feeling quite low. You know what's harder is like feeling low when you're in a beautiful place. Like, I'm literally here right now. How can you feel low? But I do. And I think that's inevitable in every situation, travelling or when you're doing something fun. I think I'm going to do some handstands, they tend to cheer me up. <laughs> I'm getting a matcha lemonade. It's so cute. This is the best thing I've ever drank. We got a bagel. She's happy because she's got a bagel. <laughs> I've seen the New York bagel TikToks too much. I needed a bagel. <laughs> Chicken. How do you find this? <laughs> ah. 
Oh wow. Oh wow. I have found a place to have a little rest and nap. Alex is just chilling. But look how cool this is. Like that's literally the city. Just got like a little bit of grass. Okay guys, I got really quite low. Alex went because I was trying to take a nap. I was just in a bit of a hole of like self-pity because everyone's on like a time difference. I feel like I couldn't call anyone. And then that made me even more low because I was like, my friends and family, I can't call them. Anyways, call my friend James and not Gymshark James, different James that I met up with in Australia. He's from London and we called and he was just like, just get some movement in. Like just go to the gym, get yourself some food before or after and he inspired me you can tell i'm already feeling a bit better and i haven't even gone to the gym yet got myself a smoothie and when i saw james the other day he added protein to a smoothie which i think most gym people do anyways i never do it because i'm just like no i like the taste of the fruit i don't want to taste protein powder anyways i've decided to start adding protein powder to my smoothie so thanks james and now i've got an acai and banana and protein powder smoothie. This is where I am, it's gorgeous. And I'm gonna walk to a gym. I'm currently in like a little skirt, but I've got some shorts in my bag. And then I'm in a gym and I'm gonna feel good. I know I will. This feels like it should be illegal. It's 4.30 a.m. Mm, I don't think I can do a run club this early again. 5.30 is the cap. And the fact that I know that once the run is done, we then have to pack our bags, check out, get an Uber, get in a bus. <laughs> it's not quite a nap situation. Enough of the complaining. We have got Brisbane Run Club today. We need to leave in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go. I can't wait for it is. Guys, so many people turned up. It's crazy. It's my friend. Hey. Um, but yeah, it's my last day in Brisbane. So we have completely bombarded this cafe. Yeah, everyone's got coffee, we're taking pictures. Huh? I got an array of food. Still taking pictures with everyone here, yay! We're currently on the Everglades. I'm not as strong as Anna, so I'm having a break. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm being the boyfriend, just getting us through this beautiful journey. She's doing a great job. The backwards hat, the speed mode. Call me Chad. We took off in second place. Yeah. Now we beat first. They were having some issues with some wind. They... Not us. No. We are so I went to go to the toilet and I've got lost in, in the middle of a jungle. I don't really know what to do. I got lost. Hey, Yochi. We are in Rainbow Beach. Um, it's a bit of a desert town. <laughs> so I grabbed Dyke Street because I don't know if the next time I'm going to get something quite nice. And we're going to Fraser Island next, which is so exciting! 